Welcome back, my friends. I'm at Jim Toff with my favorite Pinot. Not Noir, not, not, what's the other wine? Grigio, we knew that. He just wasn't ready for the question. But this is my favorite Pinot. Today, we're talking automation. Now, I want to pan because there are so many people excited about this technology. And let's go a little bit closer. We're yeah. actually going to have to move some folks out of the way because automation is the thing that reduces the skills gap, the labor shortage, the thing we're always talking about, the details we're always fighting with. And in this world, a world of EDM, sinker EDM, wire EDM, automation, tell me how important that is to be able to adapt yes it's coming more and more and more and um, especially this exhibition shows what is possible in the automation way that mean we have a measure machine we have a robot we have a stock system we have a sinker machine and we have a wire cut machine and this all is running without manpower autonomously yeah Completely. So there's a question out there for some folks, guaranteed right now, happens all the time, is robots are taking my job, but we know that's not true. No, no, what they're no. doing is removing the dull, dirty, dangerous, dainty, those types of things, allowing us to get back to our creativity. Yeah. And if we're being truly honest with ourselves, which we always should be when we look in the mirror, we don't have enough people anyway. Yes. And the ability for this to be able to run by itself. But one question I have for you when it comes to automation is, the communication from one aspect to the next aspect, how easy is that for us to adapt into the facilities? A lot of people still fear it. Completely easy. We are working with apps who are, who are easy to handle. The system is asking you which machine is first, which workpiece is second, and, and so on. Very easy to handle. This time, very easy. As you've already said, we're stepping into the future. We've said it on other videos here. We're here at Jim Toff right now. We have the reliability of the Sodic machines, which we're used to. When it comes to this technology, this piece here, we obviously see some parts being moved back and forth. Here, just this part itself, there's a safety. How? And it looks like the Googles that I see over <laughs> yes. in San Francisco, yeah, by yeah, the way, yeah. as I stuck my hand in too far already. When it comes to being able to adapt, this cell to a fully autonomous workforce in your facility, how quickly do you think someone could implement something like that without feeling like they're, they're losing time or losing the ability to, to do it manually? I think um, the installation uh, of all the system counts one week, teachment also one week, and after one month you can produce. 100%. Even as someone as remedial as me, within a week or a month, I might take about a year, wouldn't I? Uh, me, yes. <laughs> you, three months. <laughs> so, as we look at this cell, we're stepping into the future, we're creating this, we're here at Jim Tough. We've obviously talked about automation, labor shortage, the ease of adaptation, and the ability to run autonomously. Where do you think for shops out there who are currently standing on the fence going, I know I need it, I can't afford it, what do I do? What do we say to those folks to help them understand the importance of adaptation? Yes, check it. We make calculation for them and we show them what is possible in the production of 24 hours and also the accuracy and never stop. Stop, no stop. These things continue and you have a very big accuracy. Then it's repeatable. You cannot do it with manpower. Only this kind of machining can do it. I'm gonna ask you a question now that I know the answer to. You might or you might not chuckle, I'm not sure. The audience out there knows Sodic to be a leader. I mean, truly yeah. a leader in precision. Talking with some of your colleagues, a 10 micron is a mile in the world of Sodic, right? But there's some folks out there that say it's expensive. So my question to you goes, have you ever show, sold a Sodic machine saying, I'm gonna be the lowest price out there. I'm willing to bet you haven't, have you? No. But at the end of the day, secondary operations, shipping out other work, having the best finish, having the best product, not having to worry about all the strategic operations that go into after that first procedure. That's where you guys are truly making money for people, isn't it? Yes, and uh, this is important. You have um, one, two, three, four operation in one time, and you don't need to check it because everything is automatic and fantastic. Yeah, that's an absolutely perfect answer. One thing I want to say to the audience out there right now, this is an automated cell. Pino will say it better than me. He's been saying it better than me. will continue to say so. An automated cell. He said there's four situations. What happens if you invest in an automated cell where every single one of those pieces doesn't 
connect to each other. But when you walk away for the night or the weekend, you come into your shop and those parts actually aren't good. How much time did you actually invest and waste by investing in the wrong products or the wrong setup? That's where Soda's communication, making sure that it's perfect when it goes. And actually, at the end of this, if we wanted to, you could add a measuring system as well, couldn't you? Yes. Yes. Uh, ultimately, you measure every workpiece, put it in the stock, and the system put it on the machine. That's all. I've done an interview before where the most frustrating thing for that client was that they came in from a weekend and had to remeasure and yes. rework every single part. That doesn't happen. No, the system is completely checked. You can check it by your iPhone and uh, you can check it by camera and we have 100% check. And this is important. Well, this is why he is my favorite Pinot. Not Grigio, not Noir, my favorite Pinot because we get to learn together as we step into the future here at Jim Toff here on the Soda booth. As always, my friend, such a pleasure. Really good speaking with you.